What is up guys, I'm back to another video and today I've got another Team of the Week player review for you guys today. We're going to be trying out the new Inform Pedro, but make things more exciting today. We're going to be trying that at the cam spot. I've never done the position change switching. I've always kept players at the original positions. Today we're mixing it up a little bit. Pedro is moving into the cam centre forward spot, whatever you like to call it. Now, if you haven't already subscribed, please do go do that. Any support is hugely, hugely appreciated. But first of all, let's A, take a look at the team. Let's start off with that. A very nice squad, actually. Little Brazilian links there. And I had to get my man Casillas Minichal, Tellez link up in there. I'm absolutely loving those three in my team's moment. And Zaha and Hernandez. Hernandez actually find a bit trash bang, but anyway. Zaha, I love. Fred is insane. One of my favourite players. I think I played like 60 games now. Yeah, 61 games. So a great, great team in the whole scheme of things. And Pedro is very, very strong in the camp spot. Good. First of all, if you look at him as a winger perspective, 78 pace is dog shit. You need someone with 90 odd if you're going to survive and have a good winger in this game. 78 pace will not cut it. The rest of his stats for a decent, decent shooting, decent passing, decent dribbling. Again, a little bit weak, like Fraser could be stronger, but the main problem with him is on the wing, his pace. But put him in the cam spot where the average cam is probably around 65 pace. He is a lot better. He's a similar card to your form to Liskers. I've got my footman's Isco that I love. I would put him in comparison with them. And in that respect, he is beautiful. Brilliant acceleration. 81 acceleration for a cam is very damn good. 75 sprint speed, very damn good. And then his dribbling and ball control is perfect for it. Because he's able to just get in between the um, defenders and midfielders. He's in that kind of gap between them. And it's perfect. Literally a really good card. And his passing also allows for the make him be good for the interplays which we'll see when we get into the game plan. On top of that, his finishing strong. 86 attacking position means he'll get off the pitch. 82 finishing is decent for someone. And considering you're going to want him to like get in behind, that's how I say about get in behind, yeah? You want to be just getting him to make those opportunities. And in this situation, you will. It's perfect for that in mind. Long shots, if you'll ever end up in that situation, decent penalties, a bit trash, but I'll never score any of them. Anyway, obviously his physical is still a little bit low. That'd be the main thing. I would say about this club, if you haven't already subscribed, please do go to that. Other than that, let's get into some gameplay. No, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'd be moving fast. Call me a shooting star. Let them know who you are. Flying up in a bar. Wish on a star.
Okay, there you are. Definitely one of my favourite players compared to him from Fraser. He is a lot better in my eyes. I like Fraser, but I like Pedro more. I will say that now. You can see the stats on the screen. Nine games, five goals, four assists. A very, very respectable tally, considering one of them was rage quit in the first minute as well. So in reality, it's eight games, five goals, four assists. It's very, very good. And a record that I'm very happy with. And you saw in the gameplay, his getting in behind is beautiful. His passing, his through balls are beautiful. And a card that I really, really like that. She wasn't tempted to keep it's borderline. But the fact that he's gone up in price. So if you bought him already or you packed him, hold on, sell him now. Don't buy the Pedro now because he is very high in price with SBCs, all the um, youth stars, all that other stuff. So don't buy him now. But in a couple of weeks when his price goes down, a very nice in from the very nice cam for the price you're paying. 30,000 coins what I snuck him up for. I can now sell him for more than that because of when I bought it, which is absolutely perfect. But terms of rest team, Zaha, still absolutely love him. Fred, love him. Miller Chow, love him. Hernandez is crap. I wish I hadn't done the SBC and I'll probably chuck him in an SBC sometime. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Peace.